So, free agency, you take a look at the landscape. You take a look at the Mets. The Mets have a guy, Luis Guillaume, who kind of brings the same skill sets as you do. What made coming here attractive to you? Just the idea of winning. Um, I think when you look at the team, the, the chemistry and, and what they pro produced last year, I was like, okay, I want to be a part of that. Um, in any role that I can be a part of, um, you know, I think uh, my skill set, is, it is like his. Um, but when you have guys like that, it makes it easier for the manager. Um, you can play wherever you want. In different situations, it's just there's not always one option. You can get another option, too. Um, and it's just exciting. Like I said, the atmosphere and then the winning mentality is that's why I play the game. And one of the things that you've been labeled to is like a team leader. You know, with the White Sox, everyone raved about you as a great clubhouse guy and willing to do anything it takes to win. Where did that, you know, where did that, where was that foundation instilled in you? You know what? I think that's just the way I play the game. I came up, I always wanted to be the best on the field. And uh, with being the best on the field, you want to win. Um, you don't leave that day until you're satisfied with a win. Um, so, you know, I, like I said, to be a part of a team like this and to want to win, it really makes, a, it, makes it fun. And when I was deciding when to join, I knew that this was the spot. Small sample size, but now you've played for two really old school managers in Tony and now Buck. You know, are there similarities between the two and, and what, what's the first impression you've had of Buck? Buck's incredible. I mean, he's awesome. Just a guy that you want to play for. Um, and, and to be honest, I think the both of them, they appreciate the utility role and uh, what kind of value that brings when you have multiple positions and you can go out there and, and perform in any position for the guy. Um, so for, for both of them, they, they really do appreciate that, and that's what I respect and love. You know, a lot of been, a lot's been made of the, the pitch clock. A lot of the focus has been on the pitchers. How does that change your approach at bat? Do you a guy, a guy that needs more time to get set in the box, or you know, is 15 seconds pretty much the you know close to league average anyway? No, you know, I experienced it a little bit when I was in AAA uh, for a brief period last year, and uh, it just it kind of it, it's almost a good thing because you sl it slows you down. You try to or not not slows you down, but you don't think as much. So you kind of just stand there and you try to just. It's not like you're up there thinking too much, oh, I got to do this, I got to do that. No. Take a pitch, you don't like it. Okay, refresh, I'm back in the box. So it's not like too much going on. So another thing, even though you're a position player, you're blessed here with unbelievable two future Hall of Fame pitchers and guys that have been able to keep their bodies in shape to play a long time. H have you picked their brains or have you watched the way they work? Because, you know, it's hard to stay in this game this long. Yeah, I think uh, it's one thing I take pride in, you know, besides last year was the first time I was ever on the I.L. And, uh, you know, you go about your business, you, you wake up, you eat, you drink, um, you stay hydrated. Uh, those are the big things, you know, and then you, and then you get your body going and stuff like that. And you, and you watch these guys, they go about their business, and you... And you you kind of incorporate that into your program. You see how they do it and what works for them, and then it's like, okay, you know, maybe I wasn't doing that before, but this looks like it, it could really help me out, and that's how you, you build off of it. 